play feel will change as to the different sounds that you're performing with. In this case, I've got my chromatic turned off and the play feel is one, which means I have a very wide variety. I have to hit it very hard to open the sound up. Listen to the difference when I go to play feel with no dynamics. So every time I hit it, it's at maximum volume. I might not want this for a piano sound, but maybe to smooth out my bass playing, I'd like to have that setting. Because the bass is a stringed instrument, I might want to have some vibrato, so I'll turn on the chromatic mode. Okay, for a different sound, let's go back to our piano and I'll strum the piano. You'll notice with the VG99, the way that it's set, when I hit a string, and it dies out as, as soon as the string stops vibrating. We've been demonstrating poly mode, and poly mode means one MIDI channel transmitted on all six strings. So here we have piano. And let's change that to mono mode. So we still have our piano on the lower strings, but on the upper strings we have three different tones. So. So you can layer your sounds and have a very uh, uh, dense tone. And of course we're only using our synthesizer sounds. We can always add in the guitar on top. Let's play with a few sound examples. In this case I'm using no dynamics, a chromatic type 2, which will give me a glide or slide. You can hear all the notes and I'm just playing with my thumb. There's a trombone sound. Let's go over to a synthesizer horn.
That's just an example of a few sounds. Now, let's do some recording. Context. Here's an example of a tune I recorded called Moscow Nights. I decided to use a French accordion. sound and then we had a, uh, a bass sound very simple three parts Could I play it that fast? Probably not. Here's our flute sound. Can I play it cleanly? Yes, I can, but not at 250. So let's take it back. Okay, so I have no problems playing it at 80, and yet I'd like to listen to it up at this tempo. And I can try my different uh, uh, licks that I've learned over time. As I get better and more precise with my picking, I can speed up the tempo that I can record it at, and maybe someday I'll be able to play it at 250, but right now I can do it cleanly at 80. Now if you'd like to hear it with mistakes at 250, I can try, but most people would rather hear the music being played correctly. And to do that I can record it slowly and then speed it up afterwards. Hope these videos have been of some interest to you. Thanks for watching.